We've shown you how to do it with acrylic, but with gel, it's slightly different. How to backfill and rebalance with gel with Tracy right now. Okay, you asked, we listened. We're gonna answer your question on how to do a rebalance or a backfill, whatever you call it, on a gel nail. So last week we did one with acrylic, actually it might be two, three weeks, once you see this video. Um, there are a lot of similarities to doing acrylic versus gel when it comes to a rebalance or a backfill, but there are some really important differences. So we're gonna discuss that right now. As always, we're gonna start by pushing back the cuticle. We got a lot of grow out going on. Since we haven't been doing enough videos. And I think you're a little lifted back there. So we're gonna go ahead and take, start with our core safety bit, about 15,000 RPMs. And we're gonna kind of do good in there and get rid of whatever's lifted. And what I'm doing is I'm just following right in front of it. I'm not on her natural nail, just kind of going around the back of it, right where it stops. And then I'm gonna blend it in. Let's see what we got here. Okay. I think we have it. So once we have that taken care of, we always wanna address lifting before we go into our prep work. So I, First thing, push back the cuticle, address any lifting that I see, then I can go into prep. So once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it out to our mandrel. We were using this on her earlier, it's not, it's not dirty. I know some people comment on that. This is, this is hers. Okay, we're gonna go down to our about 4,000 RPM and we're just gonna prep that natural now, pulling back that skin, really tucking back in around making sure it's nice and clean. I'm really not worried about removing the shine from the whole surface because we're going to be cutting our smile line in there. So all I'm really worried about is making sure this is nice and clean back here. Okay. Let's grab our swipe. Clean manicure brush. Let's cleanse her off. This is really my opportunity to make sure I got all the lifting Taking care of, yep, looks good. Let's get started with the rest of it. So as normal, we're gonna grab our protein bond. So far, nothing different than when we're doing acrylic. We're gonna go ahead and get it on that natural nail all the way through one time. Do it again, all the way through twice. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our base. My most important concern is where the natural nail is exposed. So I'm just getting a little bit, pushing it down and in there. Not really concerned if I have it everywhere else, but what I do like to do is I just like to pull it through so it's nice and smooth, not really that idle or important, just something I like to do. Okay, once we have that, let's get her in the light. So basically it would be the same amount of time it took me to base the other hand, but since we're only doing one finger, we wanna make sure we cure it long enough. I'm just gonna set it on a 30 second timer. Okay, we're gonna pull her out. You can grab your concealer pink in the pot. You can grab your Synergy Gel Precision Applicator, which is what we're gonna use in gel. And again, we're gonna do our fill before we do our cut. So again, we're gonna grab that precision gel applicator is what we're using. I'm gonna just tuck it back in that back area. Now we are doing more than just a fill, right? Because we've taken more product off, especially where we remove the lifting. So I wanna make sure I fill that pothole, as I call it. We're gonna make sure that we build it up a little bit higher than we would just on a typical form because just like that acrylic, we're gonna be cutting an, a smile line and we wanna give ourselves room. Now I'm not gonna build a smile line. I'm just gonna take it up, build it up from side to side and make sure I have enough room to cut. Not pretty, but it's done. Let's get it in the light. 
and we're going to cure it for 60 seconds. Now, typically if I was adding gel or doing a glitter and then adding the pink or when you're just applying gel after gel after gel, you, you don't have to cure it for the full 60 seconds because you just want to flash cure it, get it to stop moving, and then you can add more. But since we're going to be cutting in our smile line, we need to fully cure. We're going to remove the sticky layer so we can cut that smile line in. Okay, once we have that, let's pull her out. Of course, we'd be working on the other hand. It always seems like gel takes longer when we're doing one nail because you got to stop and wait for it to cure each layer. But really, you're just always constantly working on the other one. I'm going to wipe the sticky layer off. And now we can cut in our smile. Now, gel is easier to file. Some people prefer to use a cross cut uh, coarse bit. Uh, especially if they're a little leery of the X cut. I just prefer to use the X cut and whack it out really quick. Can you say that? Can I say whack it out? We're whacking it out. We're getting rid of that old stuff. So let's go ahead and grab our X cut. So usually we had this question in Reno and actually it's, it's a really good question. A lot of times I have my bit nice and tight up, but if you're working on longer nails, you want to extend it, whether you're just shaping them or cutting in a smile line. I'll tend to bring it out a little bit further than when I have longer nails. Now, I never get it out this far because you really got some weight going on in that chuck or inside the barrel, um, which can damage it. But out here is probably about perfect for the length of her nails. Turn the dial up and we're going to turn her finger just like I did with the acrylic. So, so far, everything's the same except for curing. You have to let the acrylic dry. I'm going to cut in that smile all the way across. Okay, let's make sure we go far enough down. I want to make sure we really remove all the old pink area, especially. We're going to go silver glitter again. So Glitter will cover glitter, white will cover white, but what you're really concerned about is getting down through that pink so you don't get shadowing. Okay. Okay, what I like to do is I kind of go back and forth and that's gonna whittle everything else down or we can use the side of the barrel too, especially when they're longer, I'll use this technique. And again, I'm just gonna make sure we tuck up in there that I have enough of that pink removed. With gel, I do use a lighter touch just because gel files so easy. Get rid of it. Make sure we have enough of a cliff, as I call it. That that's all out of there. Feel good about it. Okay, if you want to, we can take our file at this point. Remember, I like to use that really unseasoned file. Not what I would use on her skin right now, but if you need to refine, we can come in and refine it. Sometimes I need to, sometimes I don't. These are really my first nails of like a week and a half, so we need to. Okay, but this real quick is just refining. Okay, so when we finished with that, I'm gonna kind of dust it off. Don't have to, but I'm just wanna talk about the ledge. Again, we have that ledge or a cliff where you're gonna butt that product up and it's down far enough where we know we're not gonna get that shadowing. No difference than when we're doing acrylic. We wanna make sure that we really take a lot of that pink product out. That way you get rid of the shadowing problems. Okay, now here is the difference between acrylic and gel. With acrylic, I would just go. Good to go. But with gel, gel needs a rough, non-slick surface so when I did this part, when I went like this, I could just go like this real quick and I've roughed up the surface. Now let's say you didn't need to refine or you didn't want to refine. I could take my Arbor Band real quick and just rough up the surface. Okay, so that's first step. Second step is I like to take my base again and I really just use what's in the top of the jar. There's really stuff from me wiping my brush off. I just make my brush real wet or just kind of wet. Butt it up to that area. 
can see it's a little sticky and a little shiny now. I have her go in the light real quick while I do it to the rest of the hands. I'm not gonna keep it in there forever. It's basically just as long as it takes me to do the other hand, I leave it in there. Now we know that our gel is going to be nice and secure. This is where I made the mistake when I started doing backfills with gel because someone told me it's just like acrylic. So I didn't do these extra steps and because gel doesn't like a slick, smooth surface, we need to rough it up. And then that base just gives me that added insurance that I'm not gonna run into any problems. Okay, so we definitely kept her in here longer than need be. We're gonna grab something that's similar to what she had, which is that hollow. Again, remember what I was telling you is glitter covers glitter. White will cover white. The only reason I would remove this whole thing is if I was going to white or the only reason I would remove white completely is if I was going to glitter. So when it's glitter over glitter, I don't worry about it, especially if it's silver over silver. Okay, grab our silver hollow. And we're just gonna squeeze a little bit on, tuck it up into that corner. Tuck it up into that corner. Pull it down. Okay, little tip and trick. If you take an orange wood stick and just kind of pull it up, I'm gonna do it with the brush, and orange wood stick and pull it up, this really works well with um, when doing a full set of uh, pink and whites with gel too. That pulling up just drags it right into that corner for you and makes it nice and tight in there. Okay, so we're gonna get her in the light for about 30 seconds because I'm just freezing it because we're gonna put clear over the top to make sure we don't file all of our glitter away. That is long enough, let's pull you out. Grab our clear sculptor. I've had a lot of people ask too if this clear sculptor is exactly the same as the one in the pot. This is thinner. It actually um, is great for doing this kind of thing. The other clear sculptor I really love for extending. Actually, I love using this now for extending, uh, but the one in the pot is thicker. So we're gonna just go ahead and make sure we get our strength and protect our glitter with our clear. Once we're done here, we're gonna get her in the light for that minute to do our full cure. Okay, so we're gonna pull her out of light. Gonna grab her swipe again. We're gonna remove that sticky layer. I'm not gonna bore you with the filing and shaping. We'll get back to you on that, the final shot. But that basically is the difference between doing a gel fill versus an acrylic fill. The couple fundamental differences is the fact that you wanna make sure you cure that gel all the way through, which we make sure that the acrylic's completely dry before we cut in the smile line. But that point where you do cut in that smile line, you need to make sure that surface is rough back up. Uh, the X cut, you may be thinking, well, the X cut probably did that when I was doing it. The X cut actually really kind of smooths everything out. So that's why we wanna go back with that file, rough it up. Put that little base on there, cure it for about 10 to 30 seconds, and you're good to go. That really is the differences, but it can make a huge difference if you don't know them.